Connectivity are, will be absolutely the, the essential enabler of the real-time, continuous, reliable monitoring that will enable us to make those choices with confidence. Well, I think the first thing to say is how important it is that the ship owning and managing and operating community really embraces the necessity to take carbon out of the supply chain. Connectivity is really the oxygen that will give life to the decarbonisation initiatives. And I think that plays in, in both the short term and the longer term. There's a lot of focus uh, on new technologies in relation to fuel, uh, ammonia, hydrogen, uh, and assuring ourselves of the safety and providing ourselves with assurance around the regulations is going to be really critical to making that transition work and providing us with the assurance that it's safe and responsible to do so. And connectivity uh, will be absolutely the, the essential enabler of the real-time, continuous, reliable monitoring that will enable us to make those choices with confidence. But well, that's quite a long way in the future. And there's an awful lot more that ship owners, operators and managers can be doing now by using uh, and making use of the data uh, and the analytics that's available today to take carbon out of the supply chain through improved route optimization, through reduced uh, maintenance requirements, through uh, a greater focus on the overall environmental footprint. And connectivity today is enabling that, that short-term set of incremental measures that will take us a long way towards the decarbonisation uh, future that we all so clearly need to achieve. And I think the biggest challenge is, is, is building that universal commitment, not only to say that decarbonisation is important, but to make the tangible steps towards delivering it. And I think, frankly, the, ship, the shipping industry uh, is, is coming a bit late to this problem. So I think there's a challenge around uh, accelerating the pace at which we drive from commitment to reality, the outcomes that we want. And it's also about navigating the economic and competitive dynamics uh, that, that, that will drive uh, and, and drive cost into that transition. I think one of the biggest obstacles too is the industry's ability to have the joined up hard conversations at an industry level. And that relies upon collaboration and trust. And I think the industry's got some work to do to get more comfortable about having those really strategic conversations with itself in order to get the commitment and get the traction uh, that's so badly needed to take, the, take carbon out of the maritime uh, supply chain. I think the first thing to say is that connectivity is the oxygen that breathes life into all of our digitalization initiatives, whether that's related to improved operational efficiency and effectiveness, whether it's in relation to improved uh, crew welfare or in the context of the decarbonisation agenda that we've been talking about. So having a secure, reliable, global, resilient connectivity pipe is really critical. And that's what Inmarsat's been in the game of providing over the last 40 years. And it's why, uh, particularly in the, in the merchant arena, we've been so successful. I think as we evolve that, providing the intelligent capability to manage connectivity, to manage bandwidth, to, to provide more tailorable, more flexible solutions is going to be increasingly impossible, building on software-defined networks. And the other piece will be to make sure that we provide seamless connectivity, that we take as much uh, opportunity that we can to integrate, to orchestrate different connectivity solutions, to provide that fundamental highway to enable the digitalization transformation that's so important. And Inmarsat's that's at the forefront of driving that transformation. Uh, it's been uh, really exciting to see the launch of our two most recent sixth generation satellites over the last 18 months. I was, I was privileged to be in Cape Canaveral in February to see something that most people only dream of, a, a, a rocket being launched. And we also, as you've alluded to, have a fully funded roadmap of additional satellites coming on stream over the next 18 months or so, providing polar coverage and also enhancing our critical L-band uh, constellation as well. And that provides customers uh, in the shipping industry with the confidence that we will have the capacity and that we're making the investments to sustain and to grow with them the, 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 the connectivity that's so essential to their needs over time. I, I'd make one other point, which is, uh, as you know, we're in the process of completing uh, a transaction, a merger 
with, with Viasat, one of our uh, US-based competitor mates, and combining our satellite roadmap with theirs and the capacity that they'll be bringing online, I think offers really exciting opportunities to provide additional value and better service to our customers across the maritime industry. Well, one of the great things about coming to Dubai is to have the opportunity to meet firsthand uh, some of our very loyal and long-standing local customers. In fact, I've, I've come straight from meeting uh, uh, customers in the, the um, VLCC space who've been with us uh, for over a decade. And it's been interesting uh, and great actually to have their feedback on what we're doing, what we're doing well, and what we can, we can improve. The, the MENO E region is a growing market for us. We're very focused on uh, building on our presence in the, in the merchant shipping space, in the tanker, the container, and the bulk uh, carrier fleet. But we're also super excited about the opportunity to build a presence in the growing uh, offshore and OSV segment. And, uh, and that's an area of particular focus for us right now. Well, I think uh, Dubai, you, you, you can't uh, escape when you're in Dubai, the massive contribution that this place makes to not only the global shipping and logistics industries, but the global economy. Uh, more generally. I've been coming here for many years, both in, in my role previously in government and, and more recently in, in commerce. And I'm, I'm never, uh, I'm amazed, but never shocked by the pace of, of, of economic and uh, commercial development here. So Dubai's got a really important place to play. Uh, the Middle East is, is always going to be a vital artery for global trade. Uh, and we're excited uh, to be partnering, to be working with uh, shipping companies, shipping operators and managers and owners in this vitally important part of the world and, and hope to build uh, on that for the future.